a better future with precious metals featuring Monix and the world-renowned commodities research firm, the CPM Group, led by Jeffrey M. Christian. Hello, my name is Sean Brasney, sales director for Monex Deposit Company. I am here today with Jeffrey Christian, uh, managing director and founder of CPM Group and one of the many analysts within the CPM Group of analysts. And always great to have Jeffrey with us. Uh, uh, incredible insight into the commodities market. And we're very thankful for your time. Thank you for being with us, Jeffrey. It's uh, good to be with you. And I wish I were with you physically in Southern California <laughs> instead of New York. A little cold up here. Yeah, we got to get you out here to a little bit better climate weather. Um, you know, starting off, we, of course, uh, have CPM Group that does quite a few reports for us. And, and one of the key you know, uh, reports that we rely on is our, our yearly themed report. This year, we have a, a better future with precious metals. And you know, last year was a new decade for precious metals investing. Let's remember that that is a, a new decade, which, you know, going off to the next 10 years, uh, we hope to have a, a long, a healthy relationship with CPM Group over this next decade as well. But uh, we're coming out of that first year and now into this year's theme. And Jeffrey, can you give us a little bit of insight into why that's our theme for this year? Yeah, well, it ties in with the decade long theme, too. I mean, last year we were saying, look, the economic and political and social issues that drive investors to want to own gold and silver uh, are not flashes in the pan. They're going to be around with us probably for at least the next decade. And, and in that environment, you want to have gold and silver to protect yourself from these political and economic problems. And, and this year's theme, you know, a better future with precious metals builds on that and builds on all of the bad things that we saw in 2020. Uh, you know, toward the end of 2020, a lot of people were talking about how well 2021 will be better. And our view was, look, it's a calendar year that changes. All of the problems that we're facing in late 2020 will continue in 2021. And yes, some things may get better uh, in a cyclical basis and maybe even in a permanent basis, but we still have a tremendous number of problems. And facing those problems and looking at those problems, we had at CPM Group two themes or two thoughts or corollary to it. One was that precious metals will give you, uh, will help you build a better future for yourself and your family uh, by giving you protections against some of the negative economic and financial consequences of the stresses that we expect the world and us as individuals to face. And you know, the other corollary was that you got to do it yourself. You know, precious metals are part of something that you do for, you know, if we can use the, the, the meme of, uh, of the broader world, you know, this is personal wellness. And you shouldn't be expecting the government or some other societal force to protect you and take care of you. To some extent, we're going back to an earlier period of time where each person is individually responsible for making sure that he and her and their family uh, are, are provided with protections against undue economic and financial and political strains. I love that you, you just said uh, you've got to do it yourself and don't rely on others to do it for you. If you've got some, some capital, it's, it's uh, you know, your job to think about protecting that capital. And thank you for saying that. Uh, one of the things that's going on, and, and, and want to make mention of, of course, the pandemic and, and what is going on around the world has been very serious and impacted people in great ways. And, and we don't take that lightly. And I know we're here to talk about the precious metals market and you know, protecting yourself with precious metals. Um, but one of the real you know, issues that's happening out there and uh, impacting the precious metals market because of this pandemic has really been supply chain disruptions. And it's been really hard to get our hands on some bullion uh, from mints and refiners and, and just the whole network and, and how that gets bullion to the marketplace. And we're seeing some real shortages in uh, gold and platinum bullion coins. Can you give us some insight into maybe how long this might last? And uh, you know, moving forward, if we can maybe have some hope on some better supply coming into the market? Yeah. 
Uh, I can speak about the U.S. Mint. I'm not quite sure what the situation is with the other mints, but I know at the U.S. Mint, a lot of the coins are struck at West Point. Uh, the U.S. Mint has a facility in West Point, New York, um, and they have, because of the pandemic, they have gone to one-third shift. So at any given time, they have one-third of their staff in their print, uh, stamping coins. Uh, and that means that you're producing one third as many coins. So, you know, simple arithmetic there. Uh, so what you're seeing with gold and, and platinum coins and other dealers are reporting tightness in silver coins is you're seeing a reduction in the supply. Now, you know, the platinum and palladium coins that the U.S. Mint make, they make, uh, they have discretion as to how many to mint every year, and they've done a relatively good job, I think, of producing enough coins to meet current demand, although that's shifting because investors are, are buying more there. But with gold and silver, it's a much tougher thing. The laws that uh, created the silver eagle and the, and the gold eagle and the gold buffalo say that the mint has to produce to demand. Now, in 2018 and 2019, you had investors buying a third as much gold and silver as they were buying in 2020. And the mint has to sort of guess what future demand is going to be. And they base their guesses on what's been going on. So in 2018, 2019, they had a lot of gold and silver compared to the demand for their coins because they had built up inventories based on, on, on previous years of higher sales. 2018, 2019 were low, and they scaled back on their inventory and their operations and then with the pandemic and the recession, there was this massive surge, like I said, a tripling of the volumes of gold and silver that, that investors were buying. And they had to scramble to make enough coins to meet that demand expressly at the same time that because of the pandemic, they were cutting their production by, one, uh, by two thirds in order to you know, keep their people protected from catching COVID-19. So I think that that's what's one of the factors that's caused, and I know the other mints, I don't know the specific policies they've been following, but I know a lot of the other mints have done similar things to protect their staff, and that has caused a reduction in production capacity at exactly the same time when investors are saying, no, we don't want fewer coins, we want more coins. To answer your other question, you know, this is probably going to go on for at least six or nine months. Uh, it will get better when the pandemic gets better. And when uh, when people are able to scale up their production again, yeah, real insightful. Uh, now the, our report that you have put together for us, and uh, your group has put together for us, a better future with precious metals. Uh, it's got a lot of great details in there that we'll have a chance to go over throughout the year with you, hopefully on on camera for our viewers as well. Um, Remember Monex, call Monex today, talk to an account representative, ask them for the better future uh, with precious metals report, as well as the other CPM reports that we produce. And thank you for joining us today.